Hi, um, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate a problem that I'm having with uh, windows like this. This is uh, Adobe After Effects um, drawing itself over windows that are in the foreground in front of it. Uh, for example, if I've got this window right here, um, it'll draw itself over. Um, now, some this happens quite randomly, but I've I'd got, I've managed to find a way to get it to to kind of force it. So um, all I got to do is start rendering a video here. Make movie render. So now this will start rendering, and if I put a window in front of it, watch what happens. Okay, that was like sort of what happens, but usually, yeah, see there it goes. So this, the window is still here in the foreground, you can see pieces of it, uh, and as I, as I click stuff, they reappear, um, but this just keeps happening, and <clears throat> I have to move the window off of the screen and bring it back in order to clear it, and then it just happens again. Um, it took me a while to figure out what was causing this, and I figured out exactly what was causing this. Uh, it's uh, the set point exe file that that runs in the system trades for managing my mouse and keyboard if I exit that then it won't happen anymore I can <coughs> use windows in front of other applications and stuff like that it doesn't only happen in Adobe After Effects it happens in um, certain other programs not everything um, so I'm not sure what the conditions have to be, uh, but the point is it, it happens. Um, see, I've, I've had it happen in, in After Effects and uh, Hammer, which is Valve's, it's Valve's Hammer World Editor uh, software for making maps for games and stuff. Um, and uh, sometimes it'll happen if I'm watching a, a video in Media Player Classic. If I throw another window over it, then um, the video will draw itself, sometimes it will draw itself over the, the window that's in the foreground. Um, so, <clears throat> not I, I, it took me a while to figure it out, but I eventually figured out, without uh, any doubt in my mind, that it was set point that is causing it. Um, because, in fact, I'm going to, let me de demonstrate real quick, I have to do this again here. Make movie because I stopped rendering. <coughs> <coughs> and you have to excuse me. I'm, I've been trying to get over a bad cold for a while. Um, so now I'm rendering, and here's my window. But by the way, it doesn't have to be uh, an unrelated window. It could be one of the program's own dialog boxes uh, in any window in f that's in front of the main window. Um, so, as you can see, it hasn't happened even once since I turned off uh, set point. So let me open that back up again. And there it goes. It's starting, it's starting to happen again. And of course this opens because I actually click the application. Uh, see, now I can't s see anything. It's very annoying. So, so whether or not it's actually setpoint.exe that's causing it is not the question. I, I've, I've confirmed that. I've tested it again and again, and it is what's causing it. What I don't know is why. Um, I posted about this on another forum, and uh, the in conclusion eventually was, you know, if I can live without setpoint then I'm fine. But that's not a that's not a solution to me at all. It's not an acceptable. It's a it's 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 a step in the right direction knowing that um that it's setpoint.exe. 
but it's not a solution at all. So I'm going to uh, uh, post this video in the forums, and um, so hopefully I can get find a way to... Uh, oh, and I did contact Logitech about this, but I haven't heard back anything yet. Um, but, it, you know, maybe someone else who had a similar problem found a solution. So anyway, thanks for taking the time to uh, take a look at this video, and uh, I appreciate it.